everyone and welcome back. My name is Pandora and welcome to Love Mona. The second part to Dear Mona. If you haven't watched that, go back and check that out. If not, you're going to miss out on everything else. So let's choose a face. I like this one. Oh, that's we're gonna save our diamonds. Fifteen years ago, when I was just a little girl, my mom's extraneous friend did something that would ex affect me for the most, most affect me in the most ex special way. Miss Lee, are you here? She hasn't returned my calls. She's nowhere to be found. I'm glad I've already called my husband. I hope he'll know what to do. Hmm, is that a note? Hey, what happened? It's Miss Lee. She's gone. What? She just left. I found a note, but it doesn't say much. Look. Dear Glenn, Gwen, I had no choice but to leave. But don't worry. All will be well. Our paths will cross again when a new young love takes root. May the future be with you. Agatha Lee See my love, everything's going to be fine. I hope you I'll help you with the shop and life will go on. Thank you, Mark. You've always known how to con calm me down. Mm, I just wonder what Miss Lee meant by new young love. This might sound silly, but could she be talking about Mona? Mona! Chapter 1. Meet Mona. My name is Mona, and all for all intentions and purposes, I'm a ha very happy 17-year-old girl. Are you properly familiar with my mom? These days, she goes by her middle name, Glenn. Gwen, and she runs a physical par parlor and Mita's psychic gift shop. She's my best friend. Smart, gifted, beautiful, but just a bit too overprotective for my liking. When she was in high school, she hooked up with my dad. And they got married when I was two. You see, I have a very interesting family life. You know the story. The circumstances leading up to my birth was pretty crazy. Needless to say, I was shocked when I received my dear Mona letter at 16. But Mark and Sean and my mother, they've made it work. And for the most important and the most part, everyone's friendly. Which is good for me. Because Sean's daughter, Sherry, is my soul sister. She's like a sister to me. And we're close as two people can be. Oh, and then there's Derek, Max's son. You'll hear a lot more, a lot about him later. Everything turned out okay in the end. Which is why you may be surprised to learn that I don't da date. I've never had a boyfriend never kissed anyone, and I have no intention on doing so. Well, had. Because this year everything changed, and it all began with a tragedy. Tragedy. I can't believe it's the first year of senior high. Year. Where did the summer go? Tell me about it. I hope this year goes by fast. I can't wait to get to college. 
same here. I'm re ready to for new people and new things. I can't wait to become a veterinarian. Cheers to that. So tell me, what are you going to wear today? I have no idea. Usually, if I plan it out, I've been so busy at the shop. You should wear something that shows off your legs of yours. Liam would love to see that. First of all, I'm not interested in Liam. How can you not be interested in Liam? He's quarterback of the football team. The only person with, with better grades than you, him is you. And he's extremely gorgeous. Yawn. You're nuts. If you like him so much, why don't you date him? I've got my sights set on Tyler. You know that. True. But And today, you only took you seven minutes to bring him up. Yeah, yeah. Go get yourself prettied up so I can see you in an hour for pictures. Sure, he's right. I want to do, want to look my best. We're better off to get downstairs for pictures. My mom's probably chomping at the bit. No one on your hand. No one with your your hand on your hip. Yes. Just like that. Now, one with a big smile. Perfect. How can you get you didn't dress up for your first day, honey? I thought I did. He's right. Should I change? I'm saving my diamonds. I guess this is okay. Suit yourself. Anyways, Mona. There are any guys I have to worry about this year? As always, no. I'm not interested in boys. Thank the Lord. But, not interested, Mom. Fine, fine. Mona, why don't you go grab Sherry? I want to get a nice photo of the two of you by the flower bed. Will do. She's probably inside touching up her makeup for the hundredth time. The old familiar building welcomed us as always. It hallways were filled with laughter and chatter, and the crowd was a mix of old and new. The freshmen kept looking with a wide eyed while the seniors were already following into our old routines. Have you seen Tyler yet? I wanted to make sure I'm smiling when he comes by. You're safe for now. Ugh, he's so hot. I'm dependent. Def demanding that he knows, notice, notices me this year. I hope she's not talking about Tyler again. Yet, yeah. hey Derek. You look great. Well, you know my dad Max. He won't let me leave the house in anything that's not designer. And yes, I'm talking about Tyler again. He's your friend. Why can't you put in a good word? Um, I just don't, um, want to get involved. Hmm. Are there any, are there really no other s subjects to talk about? Whatever. Hey, look, Mona, there's Liam. He's looking right at you. Liam's a jerk. He is not. You think everyone's a jerk. He's totally full of himself. He has a reason to be. Come on now, Derek. Let's give them a bit of privacy. Ugh. Hey, Mona. Keeping it casual today, huh? Homeroom is about to start, but... Do you have a minute to chat beforehand? No, I'm saving them. I don't want to be late for the on the first day. No problem. Just wanted to let you know, bonfire at my house this weekend. I'd really like to see you there. Bonfire? Sounds fun. I'll let you know.
Sonia. Is everything okay? I've seen something. What have you seen? Is it Miss Lee? Have you figured out where she's hiding? No. I still can't re get a reading read on Miss Lee. I have no idea where she is. But I have seen something grave indeed. Oh no. Is everyone okay? Is Mona? Mona is fine. And so is your gorgeous husband. This has to do with someone from your past. Hmm. Anyone bothering you? No, Mark. Just you. What have I told you about calling me Mark? You need to cut that out. Yeah, yeah. Wanted to let you know I'm bringing home a veggie pizza tonight. In honor of your first day. Yum. I'm always in the mood for that. Good. Now remember, anyone tries to mess with you, you told me you right where to hit them. Yuck. Goodbye. Later that night. Why the long face? Mona had a great, great first day. We just had a wonderful dinner together. It's just, it's something that Sonia told me today. What did she tell you? She didn't go get into detail, but she said it was grave and about someone from my past. Hmm. Well, no need to worry about something that hasn't happened yet. And who knows, maybe Sonia is wrong. Sonia's never wrong. I'll let you take that call. Come find me when you're done. Okay, my love. Hello? Jenny? It's me, Blair. It's so good to hear from you. I... Honey, Blair, honey, you sound upset. Is everything okay? It's Ralph. He got into a car accident. He... He didn't make it. Oh. If y'all watched the first one, y'all remember Ralph and Blair got together. Derek's secret. Blair is back and she's bringing her son with her. Doing the best... Her best helping to tame her bad boy son might not be enough. That's chapter two, and we will see what happens in chapter two. But I hope you are enjoying this new series. If you are, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, because I upload twice a day, and I'll see you lovelies in the next video. Bye.